Hey guys, what's up? Jed here. Welcome to another video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So in today's video, we're really just going to be looking at the vocabulary and algebra. So let's get started. The first word we're going to look at is a constant. And the simplest way of saying what a constant is, is it's just a number. So you can have a constant of 2, 4, minus 3, or any number you think of. The reason we call them constants is because that's their fixed value and they don't change. They remain constant. Simple enough. A variable in algebra, such as x, y, z, a, or any letter or symbol you can think of. And the reason we call them variables is because they can vary. Their actual value can change. So in one equation, x might be equal to 3, but in the next equation, x might be equal to 4. However, with constants, the number 2 is always going to be the number 2. So that's the difference between constant and variables. Now let's look at a term. A term can be a constant or a variable or the multiplication of both. And that's pretty much it. Of course, you can have negative versions of them as well. So don't forget that. So now let's talk about what an expression is. An expression is usually the combination of constants, variables, and terms. And when I say combination, I mean they are combined through addition or subtraction. Let's take a look at the first example. 3 plus x. This whole thing, this 3 plus x, is an expression. It has a constant and a variable in it. You can also have 3x plus 4y. So this is also an expression, and it is the combination of two terms. And you can also have it with a minus symbol. 4 minus y, which is also an expression. An equation can be a constant, variable, term, or expression with an equal symbol. So if we take a look at the following one, x equals 4. Here we have a variable equal to a constant. This entire thing here is known as an equation. Here we have an expression made up of a term, a constant, and it is equal to a constant. And now here we have a quadratic expression. So we'll talk about quadratics a bit later. However, this can essentially just be called an expression. It is made up of a term. X squared can be considered a term, a constant, and it is equal to another term, 3x. And there you have it. That's your vocabulary in algebra. Pretty straightforward, very important to commit them to memory. So learning and memorizing these will help you in explanations that we go through later on with different areas in algebra. Guys, I really hope you've learned something by watching this vid. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them when possible. Thanks again, guys, and take care.